And welcome back to part three of What If Naruto Had One For All. Last time in the Naruto What If, we had the wave arc. Now, not a lot happened at the beginning, except Naruto. We, we learned a little bit more about Naruto's mindset, thanks to being trained by All Might. And, obviously, the access to Black Whip. <laughs> and so, we cut that now to the aftermath. He and Team 7 have finally gone, gotten back to the village. And after reporting, he goes to All Might. He finds All Might and explains what happened. All Might and him are sitting talking. Like, really, really, the uh, oh God, was Banja the fifth user? Hold on. Deku's the ninth. All Might's uh, the eighth. Nana was the sixth. I think Banja was the s No, sorry, said seventh. I think Banja was the s sixth or fifth user. I can never remember which user he is. Because it's either, it's him and, um... For what's well, sorry, one for all. Uh, it was uh, it was it's either Bonjo or N. Uh, mm, one for all. Where was it? Uh, one for all. There we go. Uh, which user was he? Uh, all right. Uh, where are where are? Sorry. Uh, let's see. Which user? Which user? Which user is he? Bonjo is the. Uh, the uh, fifth user. He is the fifth user. All right, cool. I was right. Uh, all that, all that to say, find out I was right. And he explains like, the fifth user. You spoke to him. Yeah, I saw him and everything. He was like surrounded in this black and black energy. And then all of a sudden, this black whip came out. Naruto kind of flexes a little bit, although he's still like, eh, it's a little hard to get it down. But I can kind of do it. Like, but that was the fifth. That's what. uh that was the fifth user's quirk. Wait, so do you you know do you know I ever met them? I only saw them once, uh, not even in uh, the former users of One for All, not in the way you saw them. Him, of course. They're more they're more like vestiges than actual individuals. But it seems something's different with you, kid. Uh, still, we're gonna have to work on you learn to control that. And so, yeah. Oh, uh, so we're gonna pr we're gonna practice absolutely uh, every time after you're done with your missions. Uh, come by my place and we'll uh, we'll go to a, we'll go to, or come to training ground this and we'll figure things out. And so that's what Naruto spends a lot of his time at the moment doing is trying to figure out exactly how to work go black whip all that. Uh, so and uh, they they start working on that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little. It's been a long week <laughs> and been a long week of what if particularly trying to get everything out on time and just failing on that so forgive me if i'm a little bleh. but anyway so naruto and we again i can't remember how long it had been since they arrived back at the village and when the tuning exams had started or were going to start when they were announced i know it had been a little while nothing too like not more than like a couple months at best or like a month at best but it's been a little bit so naruto is getting a lot of practice in and at first it's a little difficult because it's the Black Whip's energy is not his chakra. It is different than chakra. By the by, I did want to make this orange, but I um, I wasn't um, I, I just didn't wasn't in the mood to color it. Just note that Naruto's Black Whip and the lightning that kind of surrounds him is more akin to an orange color than the green that Midoriya has. Because in the Midoriya's mind, uh, Banjo's is actually red. Although when we see him use it, it's green. So I guess it would be green then. Because his was green, so Midoriya's green. Either way, I think Naruto's is more like burnt orange in there, just because of the nature of him. Regardless, yeah, he's starting to get things down. He's being able to grab it. It's not as detrimental. But then uh, All Might basically says, all right, Naruto, time for the next step. Let's see how you can use it in a fight. Wait, a fight? That's right. <laughs> he just goes big. You're going to have to go through me, Naruto, and I assure you it's not going to be that easy. Uh well, I may not actually have one for all anymore. The le the vestiges, of the burning embers of it, still burn bright within me. I'll still have this power for quite some time, young young Midoriya. <laughs> yeah, uh, young Uzumaki. Uh, so, are, are you sure? <laughs> uh, I see, um, oh, I know what you're worried about. You think I can't take it? <laughs> you slide space about Hinarta. Attitude like that's gonna get your butt kicked. He's like, ah! He just starts wailing on Naruto a bit, who's using Black Whip to bounce up all much. Impressive, but is that really all you can do? Huh? And then Naruto just, on instinct, just brings Black Whip, but gets as strong enough of a punch as he can muster without breaking his bones, and winds up Black Whip around his hands, like, huh? And they just smash! Boom! Uh -huh. 
and just blows Naruto back. Ugh. Naruto's arm's hurting. Not broken, but a little fractured. Some easy ch uh, medical attention will fix that right up. Blizzard, and, uh, I see. So you can, uh, and you can, use, uh, you can use Black Whip to augment your attacks as well. Very versatile indeed, Na young Naruto. Um... <laughs> Why don't we stop for today? I don't want to. Uh, uh, and Dara's like, wait, I can keep on. Uh, uh, no, I think no. It's better we stop and just. Uh, we don't want you to get too hurt, kid. Come on, let's get you. Let's just get you a quick checkup, and I'm sure everything will be fine. And they go to the doctors. Oh, Toshinori, you're here. And he sees you know uh, and some one of the nurses who's who's very nice to him. It's not like he's flirting or anything, but he's very. Oh, it's good to see you again. And I say, how is your how are your wounds? Are you? much better since your medical tre uh, since the medical treatment you've been providing. I must admit, we had uh, some pretty good uh, medicine in my uh, in my uh, where I came from, but uh, yours is, does something is uh, on a completely other level. Someone did bring up the idea that mm, All Might could have his injuries, maybe not cured, but more properly healed in the Naruto world with their medical attention. Honestly, I don't know if Tsunade would even be able to completely fix him. We know that they could do a lot, like with Neji, they were able to close his wounds and barely save him but all my uh had literally he lost his entire as he said he lost his entire stomach um his respiratory system was completely shot among other things his guts were literally hanging out of his body and it's been some time i don't know if sunati could fully heal that but you could certainly help mend him up a lot more and so all Might's body is nowhere near as bad as it used to be he's not even coughing up blood anymore but he still stays mostly in his regular form just so he can uh oh excuse me Ooh. just so he you know doesn't burn through his power and still has energy to spare so he can help out and so that's really what naruto's days slash days slash weeks have been up until that mission where there's a you have the day off oh cool and so uh sakura and again once again sakura asked sasuke for a date he says, uh, instead of uh, instead of asking people for a day, why don't you try actually working on your abilities and improving yourself? Uh, to which, admittedly, she has somewhat been doing here. Granted, it's really only her physical ability she's been working on, but she has been working on things a little bit. But otherwise, it would still be the same thing he said to her in the actual uh, series, because unfortunately, she really hasn't done anything really all that spectacular on, in terms of the missions thus far. So, you know, she eventually just gets, you know, bummed out, and obviously Konohama shows up. Mostly the same scenario happens here, where she, Naruto, uh, uh, basically makes the mistake of saying that, uh, that, oh yeah, she's my girlfriend, you can tell she's really into me, right? Like, that was a dumb freaking thing to do, Naruto. <laughs> like, there, there was no other way to say it. That was a dumb thing to say. He gets smacked. The kid runs because he comes insults her forehead. Naruto's like, wait, hold on, Sakura. And he's about to use Black Whip so that she doesn't kill him, only for them to turn the corner and find he bumped into Konkuro. I am not going to go into why Con what Konkuro said was, did was dumb. I have a video that actually says that. <laughs> it talks about that now. Um, So, yeah, it's, hey, kid, that hurt. Yeah. It's like Brett's like you were annoying. I just want to break you in break you in that. You're gonna get in trouble, Conqueror. And Naruto is like, hey, put him down now. Now Naruto isn't the brightest kid around, especially in the part one. And I will go so far to say this: he's not that much better, but he is a little bit more. He can he's able to think through a situation a little bit more effectively than he is in the original. What I mean by this is, instead of just charging in, he actually is giving them a war and giving him a warning. And Naruto even flexes off, shows off a little bit about all for showing off one for all and like flexing his you know power, flexing his chocolate. And say, I said, put him down. By the by, Naruto probably would be hitting around a 12% right now with one for all. So he's now hitting that point where the other vestiges might be more inclined to activate. Right now, we only have Black Whip, which is really all he needs. Um, and like I said, and so Naruto rushes in, and unfortunately, unlike before, where Kakarot immediately just tripped him over, Naruto at 12% is moving around Lorak Lee speeds, which, with his, with his weights off, most likely. So, he is moving now at some, at, at some very solid speeds. Uh, that Konkuro, or at least equivalent to Lee with the weights on at his full speed, which is still much faster than Konkuro moves, which means Konkuro 
Initially, he was going to trip Naruto up with a chakra, then instead, he just boom! And, just, oh, and, just, oh. it's like, and he, Naruto grabs me. I was like, I warned you to put in and Naruto, just gives him a look and say, Hey, boss, you thanks, boss. Like, no problem. I gave you a warning. You don't just come into our village, someone else's village, and attack their citizens for no reason. And Naruto, and Sakura's even like, He's got, yeah, he's got a point, and she's even backing Naruto up here. By the by, Sakura, the, God, I, I brought it up before, but I'll bring it up briefly. Standing there analyzing the scenario wasn't helping. <laughs> you actually needed to kick Conqueror's ass, basically. Or at least get, go and get someone. Seriously. Uh, but he's like, oh, kid, uh, you little breath, that hurt, kid. Uh, just be like, just be thankful I held back. Now get, now I don't know what, who you are or what you're doing here, but, uh, but get out of here. And Tamari's actually impressed too. Granted, I find it interesting that she called Sasuke a hottie. Well, no, I don't find it interesting, really. Uh, what I should say is, she, I know that she's like, ooh, local hottie, even though Sasuke is the same age, roughly, as Naruto. I think he's a couple months older. Um, and yeah, it's like she doesn't think that of Naruto. Admittedly, Naruto didn't give her the best impression initially, but also when she immediately saw him and said, hottie, like, okay, great, <laughs> whatever, I guess Sasuke is more your type instead of uh, Naruto no, overall. I'm sure there are versions of Naruto that would be her type. I've even done, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, uh, comment below if you remember which one if I did where I actually did pair Tamari and Naruto, because I did do that once. Uh, I mostly stick with the Naruto Hinata one unless it actually makes sense to change things up. I, but I've done Naruto, you know, I've done Naruto Hinata multiple times. I've done Naruto Ino at least once. Same with Naruto Tamari. I've done Naruto Karin at least once. Did I do anyone else? Uh, I don't think I've done Naruto Tenten yet. Uh, and yeah, actually, that's I mean, when you're talking about like the main female cast. I've done majority of them. Yeah. Uh, but I digress. I know, did I do Tayuya too? I think I did Tayuya once, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I did the vast bulk of them. Anywho, so, uh, eventually Sasuke's like, yeah, you're, you know, you're one of the punks I hate the most. Uh, m uh, you know, but I'll give you credit. You actually uh, stood out to me. He hates Sasuke. I'll talk no, um, nothing to back it up. But Naruto actually backed it up. He's like, all right, you want to go, kids? Like, you know, you're going to use the crow right now? To which finally Gara chimes in. Conqueror, that's enough. Uh, I was like, well, oh, hey, Gara. And there's uh, Sasuke as well, <laughs> sitting in the tree. I didn't even sense he was underneath me. It's like, what the hell? Sasuke, like, jumps down. Uh, it's like, and, and who the hell is that kid? Anyway, it's like, Sasuke Uchiha. And it's like, yeah, and this loser's teammate. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Naruto. Yeah, and that's right. To be fair, I don't think he could even take the Tam in a fight, to be honest. <laughs> Hell, I doubt he even could even take Sakura in a fight. Which Sakura actually just beat him a little about that. And Sasuke just said, well, eh, maybe Sakura. Oh. But Gara is just like, yeah, I'm sorry. Forgive us. It's like, wait, just who are... And Sasuke chimes out. It's like, just who are you folks? Guys, anyway, my name is Gara of the Sand. The Gara of the Desert. Uh, I'm curious about you as well. And it's like, Sasuke Uchiha, not you. Although, uh, although you do seem strong, you. Naruto is a Maki. And then, because he could feel the power of Chakra coming off of uh, Naruto, I was like, that was a fair bit of power he had there. And I get the feeling he wasn't showing everything he had. So, uh, I look forward to seeing you later on in the tuning exams. And Sasuke's again, irked that Naruto kind of showed him up, didn't have to do anything. But he didn't, like Sasuke was waiting there. So, he was just waiting to see if he was needed. Eventually, the tuning exams are announced. They go to participate. The immediate reaction is, or immediate reaction, the immediate scenario is the same. They go, the Genjutsu's on the door, Sasuke calls it out, and they ultimately uh, ultimately go uh, past the others, go to the next floor, Rock Lee steps in. Naruto and Sasuke, though, did, I think, were able to actually kind of perceive Lee to a certain degree. Naruto, at any rate, just because he is actually around Lee's level now, at least in the physicality. Um, and so Rock Lee ultimately shows up to challenge them. I wish, I would like to challenge you, Sasuke Uchiha. We, uh, Sasuke Uchiha. What? Come on, what about me? It's like, no thanks. The only one I want to fight right now is Uchiha. And, uh, Naruto is very, it's again, still very pissed about this. Especially since, in the physicality department, 
he's the strongest on the team. So it's like, nope. I, it's like, no, you want to get through him? You go through me. I get him first. Go for it. And Naruto, and then at least Ray, like, he, Ray's for whatever Naruto's going to dish out. Naruto, who's, I'll even bump him up now to 13%, having trained a little bit for the tuning exams, um, is not using his full, the full power he can use at the, at this time. He starts with about half, or about 6% of all for one. Well, for one, one for all. Then again, I uh, just kind of powers up. And Lee notices this. People, I, I think I commented earlier, but someone said that the lightning is more just kind of like symbolic. But I I don't think that's the case, honestly. Uh, because all obviously All Might's not using full cowling. Um he's just he just naturally learned to use all of his abilities. Midoriya, likewise, I don't I think is just using all one for all in a different way than even All Might did initially. Um and we've seen the fact that it's not like the lightning radiates, it's just kind of like hovering around his body a little bit. So, I, and we've seen that it all one for all is kind of like, it has like energy-esque capabilities in certain contexts. So I do think that there is actual like sparks lightning. I don't think it's anything like damaging. Like he's not going to be able to shock someone really. At best, it would be kind of like a, honestly, it's kind of like those um, little um, uh, lightning balls you get Spencer's. It's like dancing, but at best you might feel a little bit of a spark or something like that. But still. Um, I say this because it's still visible. Rock Lee can see it, and he's like, what? And then Naruto rushes in. Now, he's right now not as fast as Lee is. Although, if we're factoring in just his pure physicality, which is already leagues beyond anyone else in his class, um, in fact, physically, like, strength-wise, he actually is, I mean, obviously he's stronger than Lee because of one for all, but we're just talking about his base physicality. He is stronger than Lee, right, outright. And he rushes in, and Lee's like, Phew! and he just, Phew! and Naruto, he's able to, it's not that no, he's able to do, like, the whole very calmly, just, nope, 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 it's like, whoa, and he just, it's like, this guy's, this guy's fast, and I was like, all right, fine, and Jack, Naruto jacks it up, he's like, 8%, and Naruto just is able to catch him, so he's like, Phew! Phew! and Lee's like, Phew! holy crap, and then all of a sudden, he is caught by, by the next punch that Naruto throws, that's just, Phew! Phew! and then and Lee goes in, but he's able to catch him in. He goes back, but he's able to catch himself in the wall before he, like, just craters it. I see you. I see. So you are strong after all. Uh, and Naruto goes and, like, goes and knowing that he wants to fight Sasuke. Yeah, if you can't beat me, you can't beat Sasuke. Very well. Then I will show prove myself. It's like, and they start going out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And Naruto notes something very quickly. Lee's fast. Lee is strong. But Lee is skilled. And Naruto basically goes full 10% right at, the, uh, uh, at this point. Still not going his full power. But he and Lee are roughly equal with each other in terms of speed. He's outclassing Lee in strength because he can tell Lee's strikes aren't hurting him because he can be like, Poof! like he's stopping Lee's strikes easier than Lee is stopping his strikes. When Lee, when he strikes and Lee blocks, he can see Lee is in pain. Like, but the one thing Naruto is quickly realizing between the two of them is that Lee is the more skilled fighter between them. And Naruto goes full 13. They He's now overwhelming Lee. Lee, though, does get behind Naruto. He's like, ah! It's like, uh, and he's about to use the primary Lotus before Guy steps in and uh, stops the fight. I see. So you're Kakashi students, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, so you know Kakashi? Oh, yes. You might say he's our, my eternal rival. We're eternal rivals. Uh, he holds records almost as good as mine. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and so Lee, and Sasuke was falling with a shark the whole time. He's like, I can't, it was like, these guys are, he didn't realize how fast Naruto had become because he hasn't really had time to really see Naruto's full power as of late. And it's like how and Naruto just keeps getting faster. Damn it. And uh, Naruto finally calms down. He's f catching his breath. <laughs> Naruto, are you okay? Uh, and it's like, ha, so how strong was he? <laughs> Naruto kind of less, man, he was, he was unbelievably strong. I don't. I almost had to use Black Whip against him. Uh, uh, he was that good. I was fat. I was uh, I was able to match him for speed, but um, and I was stronger, but I couldn't beat him in terms of skill. That guy must is uh, trained every day of his life. <laughs> it's like yeah, this and Sasuke and him both kind of shows like well, this is getting interesting now. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah, I can't. I wonder who else we're gonna fight. Fine. And so they get in there, and they. Yeah, obviously, you got Kabuto with the ninja cards. He knows it's Sasuke. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah, oh, you still here, loser? But whatever. 
They show the info cards. Not, basically, it's all the same stuff, really, in the original. Then you have the belt test, the belt test, um, the written test, where you have to cheat. Unfortunately, the only thing Naruto actually has is Black Whip. I mean, he's got Shadow Clones, too, which in theory could work if you were to really figure out how to do it properly. A transformation and Shadow Clone Jutsu, maybe that could work, but Naruto Sally isn't that smart to figure that out. Uh, and unfortunately, Black Whip, even though it theoretically could be used to look at like one person's page, you're, like, you're going to note that. So, yeah. Uh, Naruto still ultimately has the freak out. She calms down, says, I don't ever go back on my word. And there you go. Anko shows up. Uh, then the forest of death, they get their scroll. Naruto goes to take a leak. The rain in goes to get, goes to get the drop on him. Unfortunately, without danger sense, Naruto, I think would still get the head to drop a play, um, drop would have, how, how would the term be in this case? would still have gotten the drop on him. Or they would have still gotten the drop on Naruto, I guess is the right way to say it. But the difference here is that he quickly gets out of, like, the bindings used to, using Black Whip. He basically forces himself out along with one for all. Just, huh? yeah! And instead, uh, instead of Sasuke coming to attack Naruto, well, he attacks the fake Naruto. The Rainin tries only to get grabbed by Black Whip. like, Ugh! <laughs> and um, and Naruto finally just walking. He's like, literally attack, attacking him manually. He's taking him like that's low, dude. <laughs> uh, and and, and uh, so Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura's like, so do you have the scroll on you? Which I don't believe that guy did. He might have, but who knows? Uh, for the sake of argument, let's say he didn't, just to make things a little bit more fun. And he's like, no. It's like, well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, or actually, I, because of the way Black Whip works, he's just like, hold on then, let me get to say, and which which way is your team? And then uh, Narch is like, wait, and they're like, wait, what? Which way? It's like, Over that way. Well, we should get you back to the, and Sasuke, and Sakura's like, well, could we, should we attack, uh, go uh, find, uh, get the drop on his team? And he thinks about that for a second, and he's like, you know, I was just going to send this guy back, but that's, uh, you know, maybe we should. I mean, we got to get a scroll somehow. And we know for a fact that they did have the opposite scroll that they needed. So, again, I believe that was the case. They had the opposite scroll. No, actually, no, they didn't. That's right. They didn't have the scroll because, if I remember this correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it's perfectly fine to correct me if I'm wrong. They had, again, I'm not going to bother trying to remember which one they had, heaven or earth. Let's say they had the earth, just randomly. Roshiro destroyed the one scroll they had. They were given... I believe the opposite scroll to what they had from the Sound Ninja, and then the Rain Ninja had the other scroll. So actually, going to them would, yeah, they might get a scroll, they might have a spare, but it's not, uh, it's not going to actually help them in this case. Still, they just got, all right, let, let's, all right, let's go. For sure, but let me uh, give this guy a boost first. Uh, and it's like, how far are they? It's like this many meters away, like a couple hundred meters or whatever. It's like, all right, hold on, boing boing, black whip, just. <laughs> Here you go! Poof, ah! It's like, all right, let's follow him. And they're like, oh! And so they head out. Finally, um, the rain in catches up. When it says, like, what the hell happened to you? Oh, they're coming. They're on their way. It's like, what do you mean they're on their way? It's like, and Naruto makes shout out. Like, what they mean, we're here. And so Sasuke's like, uh, Sasuke's trying to find out which one that has a scroll using a Sharingan. And uh, it, between the two of them, uh, they look and they and Sakura's being analytical, and they deduce, all right, that one has a scroll. No, all right, Naruto got it right, and it's like, hi there, <laughs> uh, and say, like, ah, oh, what the heck is this? And then he started waving his uh, black whip around, looking for Sasuke to come and uh, to come in, just go poof, poof, right and knock them clear out. It's like, oh man, you want to take all the fun out of it, don't you? Yeah, look, you already got to have your bungee cord fun. I, it's my turn now, and they take those scrolls. Like, eh, we already have this one. Still, it's probably better to have an extra than nothing else. We need, a, we need something to, but we can't let what happened to Naruto happen again. We need a code. And so they do the whole, when did time and ninja strikes, ninja times, strikes when the time is right, blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, Orochimaru does find them, knocks Naruto out of the way, and has his whole scuffle with Sasuke. Naruto quickly gets out of the snake, basically just using Black Whip to just kind of bust out of it. Just, ah! It's like, oh man, that was gross. And Naruto grabs their scroll, it's like, you uh, <clears throat> now, to be fair, Naruto grabs their scroll, knowing that they had an extra. Naruto, though, I don't think knows they have an extra, which is very important here. 
And so Naruto is like, what are you doing giving the scroll? Naruto, it's fine. You know it's all, you know we have to do it. Uh, but there's and Naruto points out there's no way we can guarantee this guy would let us go even if we gave him the scroll. It's like, yeah, very true. Uh, in the scenes, of, it seems your friends a bit smarter than he looks, though I, that it could, can't be too hard. And so, uh, uh, and Naruto's like, Ugh. Naruto, we can't beat this guy. Uh, this guy just, uh, don't, it's like, just bah, stay out of this. And finally, he just kind of cracks Sasuke in the face. Who are you? I don't know who you, I, I know, uh, I might know the clip, but I know I'm the real Sasuke. You're not the real Sasuke. Sasuke's not a coward. Um... And so he summons the snake, Naruto comes forth, activates one for all, rushes it like, oh, he's fast, but not fast enough. Great breakthrough, and just phew, rushes, um, blows Naruto back with a blast of wind. Naruto, however, just grabs on, suddenly grabs Orochimaru with black, was like, eh, what is this? Uh, uh, smash! And Orochimaru's like, Bruh! it hurts! Naruto's taken far, uh, Orochimaru's taken far worse, and will take far worse in the future, but it still hurts, like, Bruh! And just kind of like starts bam, 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 pulling him back, ah, and finally just morphs out of his mouth. Just, ah, summons the snake. Ah, deal with, deal with this pest. Ah, and like, okay, and the, all of a sudden he wraps black up around his arms. Like, ah, smash! Boom! And Naruto just clashes with the snake, rebounding it with black whip. Just ah, summons the clones. They all do a brief like fifty percent break apart. Naruto's in pain, but he's still like. Ah, and he can feel that his arm isn't as bad. It always embracing himself. His arm is kind of like, the black up's kind of like taking a lot of the impact. So his arm is kind of, it seems to be dulled to the pain a little bit. Uh, and he stops the snake dead in its tracks, ultimately, with a smash. And he's like, hey, you're not hurt, are you? You scaredy cat, which is what Sasuke did to him in the original. And probably what he did in their confrontation there. Man, my eyes are starting to get a little wonky. I've been doing this for about an hour now. <clears throat> uh, so... Naruto, um, Naruto ultimately gets caught by his, uh, by Orochimaru's son. He's like, I see, so the nine-tailed brat still lives. He, Naruto's probably got some fox chalk, of course, they threw him as well. Uh, so when you factor that with all for one for all, he's got this kind of like the pseudo level of power going on. I see. And, it's, and he's about to do the five-pronged seal, only for this dad. It's like, man, you, you're not as smart as you look. It's like, why is that? Because you clearly forgot I can do this. <laughs> and, um, uh, and he, like, he's binding, like, he binds Naruto's arm. I think it's more like he binds Naruto's arm. He's like, can't have you using that pesky little black whip, uh, that black energy attack of yours. And, though I'm curious about it. It doesn't seem to be chakra at all. Um, or at least not purely. But, yeah, no matter. And he's just kind of, like, bound Naruto's arms, had exposes his stomach. It's like, uh, five prongs? Yeah, but only for Naruto to basically go, like, you, uh, you bound my arms. He didn't bind. To be fair, as far as we know, Midoriya can use Black Whip from other points of his body, not just his hand. I think, at least when one like he evolves the quirk beyond. <clears throat> but I think it's predominantly supposed to come out of his hands because it's supposed to be kind of like reminiscent of Spider Man. So it's like you might. And Naruto quickly uh, basically just says, "You bound my arms, but not my hands." And because so, his hands are poking out because he had to lift them up. So it's like, and all of a sudden, and he just grabs Orochimaru and, says, and just kind of like lifts it. And Orochi actually scrapes Orochimaru with his own attack, kind of like, Shut! and Orochimaru's like, yeah, you little, you little bad, and just throws him against the street. Pop! Naruto's now just in pain. And just like, Ugh. And, not, and that's not good. Like, putting even just one of those prongs isn't good. Whereas, like, Still, I will have Sasuke. And Sasuke is like, Naruto, is, I, I've got the, uh, the Naruto. Sasuke finally wakes up, let's call it, and, and just says, I've got it, and has his fight. Orochimaru now is a little bit more in the, let's call it in the reds. <laughs> He's not doing as well because his, his entire system just kind of got messed up a little bit by his own attack. And so he's, uh, he's he does a bit better. Orochimaru ultimately still has the fire juice, and Naruto's struggling to get up. And he's not hes not even able to really produce Black Whip very well. So come on, come on. Uh, Naruto, Naruto's like, oh, I gotta get to him no matter what. And, Nar and Orochimaru's like, I will have you as my prize. And he can see, it's like, what's he gonna do? And Naruto's like, screw it, no matter the cost. And he just tw basically says, 20, uh, he goes uh, full cowling 20%. 
Like he even he knows even that's gonna be pushing it. And he goes and moves in fast and he's just Ugh! And he's able to block Orochimaru. Orochimaru's biting into the black whip that's barely covering his arms. Like, ah! Ah! And then smacks him as hard as he can with the other black whip hand. And his bones are rattling. His his joints are beating his... Like, he's fractured his arms a little bit. But he still manages not to break his body amazingly. Because, again, black whip can take a lot on the brunt. But now Naruto's like, ah! You! Ah! You brat! And he hears the Anbu coming. He's like, yeah, this isn't over! And just disappears, and then just, oh, uh, we need to find a place to chill out for a while. And so Naruto basically just passes out. Anyway, and we'll catch up to them after the fact. So Sasuke, in this case, did manage to avoid getting the curse mark on him. At least in this scenario. I'm not saying there aren't other times where he could theoretically get the curse mark on him. I'm just saying that he avoided it in this case. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. That is part three. Join us on Wednesday for part four, and I'll see you guys next time.